What's going on everybody? This is Island Hopper TV Hotels coming to you from the Hilton Doubletree here in Orlando at the Universal Gate. We've got several hotels in the area including the Hyatt Place over there but Hilton Doubletree, a very nice hotel chain. I stay at these all the time but it's my first time here. Room cost about $114 a night, which is a great price. It's a double bedroom. Um, got a restaurant there called the American Grill. And over here you have the check-in area with a gift shop. There's the check-in. We've got a tour encounter questions, Avis rental car, South Tower elevator, business center here, automatic door, look at that, this little area for relaxing, eating food, you can eat pizza burgers and more, they've got burgers and pizza obviously. Starbucks, Sunset Cafe, Sunshine Cafe, I should say, is the breakfast. Here's the North Tower, so they do have two buildings, North and South Tower. I'm actually staying in the South Tower. I'll show you my room towards the end. So, as a Diamond member, I got $30 food credit. That's a really good deal, right? Food and beverage credit. So for $114, I stayed here, $30 back. It's like, dude, <laughs> it's a great price, right? You've got the spawn hot tub there. People are in there. I already did a test on it. It was warm. Here's the pool. It's beautiful weather in Orlando right now. Here it is in April. I would highly recommend coming to Orlando after spring break during April because great weather and not a lot of crowds because all the kids are back in school so no one really plans to come here until late May or June is when it picks back up. Yeah, you can see South Tower, North Tower, we go. So they are doing some sort of conference here, but they have a game room for kids. Yeah. Game room. And then here they have guest laundry. Six washers and six dryers. Okay. Thanks. Okay. We'll just take a look at the game room here. One dollar charge on all new purchases. So let's take a look at the room here. So basic Orlando bathroom. Seems like all the Orlando bathroom styles are the same. No matter what the hotel is. It's like classic Orlando right here. You know it by the sinks. But this is a two bed, uh, double beds. Got two waters that I've already drank. I've already been staying here for about 24 hours now. And, uh, yeah. What else do we have? Refrigerator down here. Not a, not a thing. There we go. Safe. So there's the room. Okay, so I have obviously officially made it to Orlando. I'm going to be doing the parks, 
SeaWorld, Universal, um, Disney, and some of the areas in between. And so I decided to start with Universal and I figured if I'm gonna be doing Universal, I might as well be close to the park. So that's why I stayed at this Double Tree. I actually walked to the park. Uh, it took me about 25 minutes. They do have an overpass that goes across the uh, road there, which I found to be convenient. However, they also have a shuttle bus that can take you. It's just, when I got the information, I thought they said 11.30, but it turns out it was 11.20 in the morning. So I just decided to walk. I needed the exercise. I could have got an Uber, which I did on the way back because there was a lot of raining. Um, so uh, that Uber cost me about, I wanna say $15 to go from the park to the hotel and took maybe five or 10 minutes. As far as the hotel itself goes, I really like the pool area. I found the uh, jacuzzi to be very nice. Um, lots of chlorine in that jacuzzi, I'll tell you. You get out, uh, out of that and you feel like uh, there's chlorine on your body, so you're probably gonna wanna shower when you get out of that. They just <laughs> chlorinate it. Um, I'm actually staying at another Hilton Doubletree. This time it's by SeaWorld. So it uh, seems like Doubletree has the best prices in Orlando right now. And, you know, Doubletree is actually a good brand. I stayed at that Doubletree in Universal Gate, the one that you just saw in this video, for three nights. Um, this one here, I don't know how long I'll be here. There is a Hilton across the road. I'll have to check the prices, maybe make a review of that. Um, Obviously, here in Orlando, they have a lot of different resorts. I'd like to get to one of them or two of them, some of the major resorts, whether it be a Marriott or a Hilton. It just seems like right now the Hiltons have the better prices than the Marriotts. Uh, Hyatt has some properties around here, just a little bit uh, more expensive, uh, but maybe I'll end up at the Hyatt Regency. We'll see. I'm right here on International Drive now. But as far as this hotel goes, I would rate the bed as a decent quality. It wasn't anything super comfortable. It wasn't anything super uncomfortable. It just got the job done. Um, the AC seemed to work all the time. The bathroom was typical Orlando style, typical American style. It's like that Motel 6 that they just don't build them that way anymore. Um, you know, with that uh, plywood kind of marble finish. It, it's, it looks like it's marble, but it's really just plywood. Uh, <laughs> with plastic coating on it. Um, the internet was decent. It wasn't super fast, but it wasn't slow, so it could upload pretty quick. Uh, no issues with that. I found the food to be good. The staff was very friendly and helpful, so good job to the staff. Uh, I would say overall the breakfast was also really good. I liked how they uh, gave a $30 voucher credit to Diamond members. I don't know if they give those to Gold or others, but that was a really good benefit and I took full advantage of that and I hope you do too. Uh, but overall, I would have to rate this property as about a 4.6 to a 4.7. It definitely gets the job done and it's a good price. I mean, I paid $120 a night for it and I found that to be a good value for sure, considering coming out of the Caribbean where it was a lot more expensive or even more expensive down in Miami. So we'll see you guys from the United States for now. We'll see where I go next, but uh, yeah, there you go.